there are two ways to get xform comments first you go to the toolbar and expand xform and you will get all those comments here or you can there's a menu here you opt for any of the xform menu we'll start with xform translate i click on xform translate and first i need to select the object and press enter it will go to this dialog box we have two or three options of uh, uh, deciding what what to do with the uh, original object either we will move it or we will keep it as it is or we will join it with the new object that we have translated once you decide on it then we'll i will explain you how to translate it on x y or z direction if you want to move this object in x direction you just need to define the value and you can see that as 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 in when i enter those values and press enter this object is get copied to in x direction and if you want to move it in y direction you just need to enter the value in y you can very well move this object in in z direction also now there are three options of defining the direction that is direction 1 it's either left or right and second direction or keeping both the directions so based on your requirement you can out for any of the direction method so we have one more option of uh, defining from point or to point that is just defining a from point and to point or else you can opt for any of the line to define the distance and from point and two points or you can also opt for defining the angle and defining the length now if you, if you want more than one instance you have to enter the number of instance that you required here and you can opt for uh, any direction you want now when you enter a value which is more than 1 here you can see that the distance between and the total distance radio button uh, radio buttons get activated the distance between means the actual value of distance between two instance adjacent instance and total distance will be the total distance between first and last object now we will i will explain you how to do xor mirror x form mirror i selected the object and we have options of mirroring it in x y and polar line so when you opt for x axis i mean y axis it consider origin as origin y axis and it creates a mirror of the object or if you want to define a particular point you can very well define it or you can enter the value here this value is from the origin now if you want to define x axis or parallel to x axis 
you can define the distance here or you can define the angle or you can define a line or from or two points now we'll see how to create x form rotate click on x form rotate and I'm defining origin as rotation point and defining the instance uh, 2 and angle as 45 degree and going to keep in both direction if you want any of the instance to be deleted you can click on that icon and select the instance that you want to delete and if you want to keep it you can opt for the you press this icon and you will get that deleted instance again on the screen and if you want to orient the object based on rotation we have two options here rotate or translate if you keep rotate the object gets automatically orient based on the angle of rotation and if we keep translate it always maintain the orientation of the the original object or you can call it as parent object based on your requirement you can opt for any of it and click ok now I'm drawing a circle of 100 X form scale I selected this object and in uniform I have kept if you want a 20 percentage increase I will keep factor as 1.2 and origin as 0 comma and if you want it percentage wise I will keep the entire percentage that is 120 percentage or if you want different scale factor on different axis you click on this radio button and there also you have two options either defining the factor or percentage I want a scale factor of 20 percentage in X direction and 40 percentage in Y direction I will get this ellipse, ellipse now the circle is converted to an ellipse based on a different scaling factor so based on your design requirement you can enter any value and click OK now let's see how to do a dynamic X form for that you open the file dynamic X form now our goal is to translate this uh, section view to the origin by even by rotating it so for that we use a command called dynamic x form this is very important command and widely used in uh, master cam first I select the object next is this is the nomen I need to position this nomen for uh, movement of this selected object I'm going to locate it on the midpoint of this line and then this nomen is used either to 
translate in x, y, z direction or rotate in all the three axes. So when I select on any one of the axes, you can see that a scale scale is visible on the screen and whenever I move it to and fro the dimension get you can get the dimension in this uh, uh, box if you want to enter the dimension you can very well do that just need to type the well start typing the values of the distance or you can just define the origin and now I will rotate it in this axis that is y axis If you are not getting the correct rotation value, you can just enter the value as 90 or minus 90 and when you are done with the rotation, you can click OK. Now you have moved the section from one point to another and we have dynamically revolved it and placed in the correct location.